Hello everyone, my name is Hongerson and welcome back to this Imperator Rome Purple Phoenix campaign where for some reason a settled tribe with no technology decided to go to war against me and all of my subjects and everything. So it's going to be fun uh, for sure. I mean, they are being incredibly annoying at the moment, but hey-ho. That should not last. We can start by crushing that army there. I don't know who you are, but thank you for your contribution. Alright, there we go. Starting with a nice shiny stack wipe. Let's just siege this back. And you... I was about to say, you should probably be forced marching, and and by probably I mean definitely. Let's just get you up there as soon as possible. I mean, this army is probably going to be able to just crush these ones, because morale difference is... Well, actually, you get that off. Well, <clears throat> it's still frustrating for sure. Alright, you're on your way up. Uh, you're on your way to smash that one. Anything else we want at the moment? I mean, we can grab another relationship slot. Just, just so we can see exactly what's coming. Okay, that one's sorted. Let's go for the next one then. Well, we'll be catching something. Something is better than nothing. Alright, grab the capital back. You can go up and siege that down, I guess. So we are at war with these things up here. Which is kind of excellent. So these ones are all tribes. Couldn't turn them into tributaries, I guess. Just, you know, get some income from them. Um, we do want some land, but not all land, like, yeah, I mean, why not? Okay, I'm going to siege back that capital as well. You're on your way up to there already. Excellent. These are mercs, so fine with sacrificing them. That's what they're there for. Nice. Really? <laughs> well, that's a bit worse. Um, so, Rome. Rome is usually incredibly terrible at going to war when they don't share a land border with you. <clears throat> so, I don't think he'll have military access through here. Um, what's he... Oh, I got something... Uh, saying it now. So, you want... Illyria Greza, which is this one. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. He's either going to do some incredibly pathetic landings. Uh, he does... What's your navy like? You have no navy. I swear to God, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how the AI logic works in this game sometimes. Oh well, I'll be looking forward to him coming over here, doing something. And then we'll just look at... Am I at war with you? Oh, evidently I am. Uh, well, in that case, go and... Siege that down and actually stop force marching. Right, and you <clears throat> do have enough food now, so we're tempted to go and grab that capital while we can. Now this guy doesn't have any food though, so we kind of want this siege to finish like immediately 
a thousand troops. We could. I never assault. I'm tempted to do that. Let's see what happens. Uh, well, nothing good. Wow. Yeah, no. Okay, well, that was pretty awful. I'm kind of hoping Rome does not show up now. And kind of, I mean definitely. Well, provided Rome doesn't have access to these guys. Let's see here. Um, where do we see that? So Rome. Does not have military access through those guys. You do have military access through these guys, but not these guys, so yeah. Ah, there, oh there. Could actually get some war score by just. Um, what's the word? Blockading his ports? I'm just gonna do that just to annoy him. That's 15k though. That is pretty impressive. Oh no. Um, what did we lose? Let's just wait until next month so we can see it quite a bit easier. So we no longer have honey. Did we used to have honey? Probably not, but let's get it anyway. I thought it said something about precious metals, but I don't see those at all. Which isn't necessarily a reason why we don't have it, but sure. Let's go for that. And I am... Do I want to get some more? Well, you have apparently not recovered. Could grab these ones. 16 ducats a month. Yeah. Come on, you can go up here and sort things out as well. This was incredibly stupid regarding manpower, but hey ho. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah. Now this is getting interesting. Um, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of things. Okay. So, Antigonids, um, the Seller Kids have come in though, um, which is going to distract them. Problem is, um, I don't really have much troops up here. So I think, let's grab your, you as well. And yeah, we're losing so much freaking, uh, things here but we'll need to wait to check that out next month so this war we kind of want to be done and dusted with because if anything what I want to be spending all my glorious aggressive expansion on is crushing the antigonids which we should be able to do if anything I'm happy to just white piece you out well I'm even happier if we can grab um, like this, which I guess is fine. And you, for sure, get down as soon as possible. You get down as well. Rome, I mean, if we look at Rome here, I don't know how he's thinking here, so... You have military access through those guys? Fine. Actually, I don't know who, who those guys are. Oh, that's you, okay. You. I mean, they're subjects, I'm guessing. I guess he could walk through all of this and get into my land. That would technically work. 
I mean, in case they want to do something stupid like that, let's just put down a fort. And what we want to do here is essentially try and use all our resources on uh, the Antigonids. Antigonids, anti whatever. And in the meantime, let's see if we can sort out some more glorious trade routes. Uh, I don't think we've actually let another month pass, to be honest. And also, before someone makes us lose some more uh, political influence, I'm actually going to start stabbing another pig. All right, let's have a quick look here then. So what do we want? We do want more marble. Thank you. We probably want some more stone, but we definitely want more stone. So let's get that from you, actually. Um, what else? Cloth we have, marble we have, papyrus we have. Base metals. Light cavalry offense. Okay, sure. And um, global monthly food. Okay, we don't have honey anymore. Let's get that. Some extra diplomatic rep. Earthenware, we do have earthenware, gemstones, glass. We do not have glass. Yeah, let's get glass, country civilization level up. Um, precious metals. That is pretty good, and then uh, I don't know, we can look at getting some food, I guess. Grain, sure. Okay, that's all of that sorted. You definitely don't want to be running a moose, and neither do you. Let's go for bottleneck. Now I was actually looking at this between the episodes. Um, Ponte culture, uh, we actually have very few of them. If we go to um, culture. And people seem to be incredibly whiny about keeping them. So um, yeah, we actually going to, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, they did not appreciate that. Yeah, well. Okay, so these ones obviously have pathetic morale at the moment, which actually means we should probably reorganize you and we should probably reorganize you as well and have you march over here and you should, um, I don't know, do whatever you want, which should be, you know, run away from here, preferably. Same with you, you can do whatever you want, and uh, you can do whatever you want. There you go, nice. So this army composition is pretty dangerous. Um, but I think these guys, once we get them together, we should be able to sort that out. And you should not just be standing over there. Come on. Actually, we can probably put you to independent, I don't really care about you. Um, you should march over ASAP. In fact, I am going to make you force march over here. Okay, so it's going to take quite a while for our, um, wow. I'm about to say, our um, glorious armies here to get themselves sorted out. Once they have been, though, we will be able, we should be able to win this. Well, we will be able to win this. Unfortunately, the majority of our subjects are down here, so it will take quite a while. 
kind of hoping that someone goes and sieges this down. Um, how's he looking? Manpower wise, he's got 36k. We can definitely deal with that. Um, these ones, well, the seller kids, have you still only got one troop? I mean, you are absolutely rubbish. I will state that and I think we can all agree that's true. Okay, you are fine now. That's very nice. You are fine as well. So let's have you march over here. Now we're going to force march you. And now we will look at crushing some. I didn't actually want you. Just you two. We will look at crushing some beautiful Antigonids here. Which is going to be, oh come on. <laughs> which is going to be glorious. I mean this 26k stack here, which is pretty terrible actually. So you, my friend, could be our first victim. Um, Hierophant loses 20 health. Sure. Flog away. So let's have a quick look here then. You have 9 military skill, you have 14. Currently they're running a beefy thing. That was actually worse than I thought, but hey ho. Right. There we go. Right. Do, do, do. So. That was army number one. We can turn this off. Let's go and smash army number two. Potentially army number three. Now let's just go with army number two here. Also, Rome, have you actually managed to do anything? Nope, as expected. Oh! Now that is something you don't see every day. Okay, so he's going to Parthenia now. Come on. So you'll be getting there first, that is fine. This is... Right, let's see how we're deploying here. Probably as randomly. I mean, the spread of units here is um, impressive to say the least. Okay, but well, we are winning here. He is running. Okay, it's the same as previously. So, yeah, once these guys get in position, it'll be fine. Okay, very nice. Now. Let's see if we're lucky and we can actually get there before this falls. I very much doubt it, but you'll never know until you try. And apart from that, let's start sieging down his, what do we call it, cities. Okay, this, I would love to deal with this trade rubbish at the moment, but no. I mean, are we going to be lucky? Definitely going to go for the stability here. Nope. No luck, sadly. Um, and you are locked, which is even less luck for everyone. Sure, we can be friends with you. You're going there. Not much we can do about that. That's unfortunate. Um, any invention that will help us at the moment. 
Not really. Right then, uh, Swanda, can we get there? We can. Let's just go and crush that army quickly then. Oh, what now? Come on. We're in the middle of a war. So you... Um, tribune of the people. Which is going to be called something completely different here. Ah, I got enormous. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, maybe it's just not your thing. Right, let's see if we can deal with this army here then. And where did my... Ah, it's on its way. Very good. So, Rome, do you want to... Go away? Not quite yet. Oh, they've actually managed to get some troops over here. Oh, and of course we're fighting Macedon as well. You're actually going to go and fight this. All right. Seems kind of silly to me. Um, so we're making 25 ducats a month. I could rent some more troops. I don't want to rent the ones that are on top of you there, though. 30 ducats a month? No. You won't be rented just yet. <sighs> um, that's a bit close. Do we have any troops down here I could rent? It really doesn't look like it. Well, we should probably help out those ones at least. Oops, and I forgot to check this. Um, how are we doing here then? 8, we got 15. We should be okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, easy. And that is sorted as well. And he's going to suicide some troops into this, so yeah, let's just stay put. Okay. <clears throat> so this one we've finished now. Let's leave one army to actually siege down the fort. You can go and grab that capital back. And what do we do with these guys? I mean, Rome, do you want to just give up? You're still at high, so I don't see that happening. I mean, you're not too far off, but... No, that's the wrong one. And yeah, we're not really getting much for these blockades either. Um... Wow, that was, I didn't think that had gone that far. All right, well, we're going to finish that siege anyway. Um, you are going down there. That's all good. Silly kids are not doing anything of use. You are losing this fight horribly. <laughs> ah, God, I do hate multi-front wars. Okay. Well, that's a success at least. Good pirates. Exactly what I wanted at this, this point. Yeah, we are defeated. Um, 
I don't want to hire those 32k troops. I do feel like I kind of need to hire some other troops though. 27. Ugh. The only ones we really got are these ones. So I guess, yes. We are going to hire you. You are going to forced march over here. And then we'll see what happens after that. Right, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's not look at that because we'll probably just lose them anyway straight away. Okay, that one siege down. Um, let's see if... Now I kind of do want to siege with my main army, but they're probably not going to do anything useful. Where's my navy? Right, that is pointless. You go over here. And actually you can't force mark because then you'll never get any form of morale back. Right, I guess we do want to ramp up some war score, so let's get that sorted. Nice, more sieges lost. And we're definitely going to go with morale of armies. Sure, we can lose some popularity. Doesn't matter. We'll be replacing our glorious leader soon enough. And whoops. This episode is going a bit long. So yeah, I am going to call it here. So join me in the next one where we'll be fighting. Yeah. No one that really matters. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.